Here we go guys, I just rebuilt this original carburetor. Got it nice and clean. straight down the vent tubes. That should be good enough. It's 41 degrees out. Dude, it's it's colder than that. It's like it's like 30. <laughs> scary but that wasn't uh, a rod knock was it uh it might be a little bit of a rod knock but it, it should clean up right um okay let's do that again uh i'm gonna go get a screwdriver so we can turn the idle down and uh we'll see if we can get this thing purring Yeah, I think we got the idle. I think the idle's all the way down. So it was probably just that we had an air leak. Which I don't know where the air leak's coming from. But let's fill this thing back up again. Could have just been that the choke was on. And we'll do it this time with no choke. should be good enough. We gotta hook up the power going to the coil again. So we're just gonna pull that if it gets out of control. Should kill it. What's the chances it starts back up? It's a little bit loud because there's an exhaust leak over there on that side too. I think there's a I think there's a uh... Okay, there's a vacuum port right there. Um so let's cap that up. Oh, this is That's going straight to the intake. So we got to cap that one off too. Where'd those caps go? I just had those caps. What did I do with them? What did I do with those caps? <laughs> okay, we're gonna find the caps and then come back. Okay, I think we are ready to try this one more time. We took some uh, 
little vacuum caps and capped off a couple of these lines that were going to the intake. So hopefully we don't have any vacuum leaks now. We'll see right now. Okay, well, I can, now we don't have a vacuum leak, so I, I was able to pull the um, accelerator back a little bit so it wasn't revving so high. So let's see if we can get this dial done. Okay, here we go. Sounds like a Warren bearing, a rod knock, exhaust leak, shitty carburetor, bad engine. See you guys on the next episode. We're gonna change out the exhaust and intake manifold tomorrow, provided it's not raining like it is every day. We got no blow by, that's a good sign. Sounds a little bit clanky, but once we get that changed out, it will sound better. We can hook up a gas line, so we're just running off the gas, get it tuned up a little bit. But yeah, sounds good, happy with that. And uh, we'll be back to work tomorrow.